here, which is him. And he gone. Physically, his music is still here. His memories are still here. The weed is still here. It's him. You know what I'm saying? Physically, he gone. You know, I heard what y'all said about the Freestyle Fellowship. He started, you know, did and create all that. The last album that he made, we made together called The Residue Dogs. So y'all got some new music coming from him as well. Documentaries. That's damn near seven, eight years worth of footage. You know, everybody that participated in the turn market from the first one at Gardena to today. Everybody that came and spent money and, and appreciated him. He said, you know, he walking around here, we just, you see, whatever smoke you see, just, that's him, it's, he flowed, that's him. That's him, y'all. All right, my time up, thanks. Me gave us all a home at the turret market. Five months ago, I lost my dad to cancer. Me and Tony pack up and come down to Vegas. He gave me a home. My actual home. And to lose him like this, right after I lost my dad, is way too soon. I lost my father, and I gained another father figure. And I feel obligated. I gotta come out here and say something because I know he's here with us, smoking and listening. Thank you, Ian Green. Thank you for everything you did for everybody here. He's one of the most kind-hearted people I've ever met in my life. Thank you. chance to make it, that sent they love, that sent they words, that he really meant a lot to too as well. And I just want to say we all loved him too. And um, yeah, this is for you, big bro. We're gonna keep uh, having people speak, but uh, Jessica wants everyone to know we got posters here, commemorative posters. I believe it. Uh, who is the artist of these posters? This wonderful lady right here. Give her a big round of applause. She does this wonderful work. We got all kinds of artwork here in honor of Mean Green and photography. So feel free to stop by and pick up one, you guys. Here you go. Uh, first off and foremost. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. Major shout out to Turt Market for putting this together. For uh, those of you that don't know me, I'm up here on behalf of the Seedless family. Uh, shit, y'all might, y'all could love me and hate me. You might hate me for all the posts. It was actually me and Frank, our production manager at the time. Uh, me and Green did sales together, smashed all the shows together. Uh, I trained him initially but he, he trained me longevity. And if that means something to any of y'all, if, uh, if there's no eyeballs in your head, look, look around. I could never take the fucking game to work. Where the fuck he's doing shit now? And the marathon don't ever stop. He might not be here in the flesh, but look at this shit. This is a beautiful thing. He took the game way, way further than any of us have ever imagined. 
and way beyond some damn clothes. No disrespect to Sealess, but fuck some punk ass damn clothes. He done elevated the game to clothes, shoes, custom shoes, glass. If you was trying to get it, then we was getting it together. And that's that's the way that Big Brody got down. And man, I call him Big Brody because uh, on some real ass shit, he treated me like I was his biological little brother. And we, we done been through some times together, for the better or for the worse. Uh, shit, I used to get paid to skateboard. He would always be on my head so fucking tough about drinking. I'd be like, man, why the fuck is this dude on me so tough? Why the fuck does he care so much? And I already knew he was on the cover of Source. I'm a hip hop head, you know? I knew about Freestyle Fellowship. I got geeked as a motherfucker once I heard Razz Kaz, my fucking uh, Razz 